today's 1989batman.com spotlight slash actionfeatures.net toy talk review is on the Kenner Batman Dark Knight Collection Blast Shield Batman, also known as the Kenner Batman Returns Bola Strike Batman. Here he is in the Dark Knight Collection packaging from the Deluxe Crime Master series, which these figures were all boxed and had like a large accessory over to the side. So you can see the card art is over here to the side where we have a window pane version packaging to see the figure over here. Deluxe Crime Master Edition tells that it has the double barrel Bola missile really fires. Dark Knight Collection logo up top. The top of the box has the Batman logo with the blast shield designation there. Spin it to the side and we see same thing in the little picture of the figure down here. The back of the box has Dark Knight Collection logo, the instructions on how to assemble your blast shield, and then a little bit of instructions here on how you can capture Joker using your Bola blasting blast shield. Uh, over here we have a little bit of info on the suit, which is kind of interesting um, that they put this on here. It says, Crime Master Body gives Batman a metallic shield for extra dangerous missions and bulletproof iridium suit. Let me take it back to the front. There's another look at the Dark Knight Collection packaging where it's labeled as Blast Shield Batman. And here we have it in the Batman Returns packaging where it's labeled as Bola Strike Batman. Now these were a, the same Deluxe Crime Master guys were all released through the Toys R Us Limited Edition. One of them was changed, but this figure, other than the name, is pretty much exactly the same as the Dark Knight Collection Blast Shield. We've got pretty much the same layout of packaging. The art is a little different on this version, if I remember right. Hang on, let me grab it. Yeah, let's see here. Uh, the art is a bit different. I mean, the layout is the same, but the art is just a smidge different between the two. All right, so then we've got the Batman Returns logo up top. The blue into red kind of coloring design and all the Batman Returns Kenner stuff. Uh, take around from the side, we get the same kind of packaging layout. Except this time it says the name up in front and then the Batman, uh, or the designation of which Batman it is and then the name of Batman there. Um, packaging on the back is a little bit different. It's got the instructions over here to the side. And then we've got him capturing Penguin this time around and nothing about him having an Iridium suit. Um, so there it is back again from the front. Now we'll take a look at the loose version. So you can see here's his big bola shielding thingamajig here. Fires out these two missiles with this little button. If you can make it out in the video. There's the clip that clips it to him. And then there's the button. And we'll just... Whoa, there it goes! There it is. You see it's like a smoky colored plastic with this two gun thing thing through the middle. And then here's the figure. He's got this nice metallic charcoal pewter coloring to the, the actual like tights part of the outfit. And then black underwear and black belt, black mask, black gloves, black boots. It's kind of tough to tell in just pictures where you see this figure online, but it actually is a two-toned outfit as opposed to like Crime Attack or something like that. So there he is from the front. Spinning around. So you can see the belt is black except for the buckle, which we'll get into more in the review. And there he is again from the front. So now we'll take him over to the couch and do the review. ActionFeatures.net, Toy Talk Review, slash 1989Batman.com, merchandise, spotlight. Uh, another one of the Dark Knight Collection Batman Returns figures. Uh, this one we're doing uh, kind of in, in honor of, uh, of my nephew and Blaze's cousin, Jack. Uh, he watches every one of our videos. He subscribed. He subscribed. Uh, he tried and to comment, but he can't. He's getting really into this line. He got a, a few of them for his birthday. He asked for me for some for his birthday, and then he wanted some more once he got some birthday money. Um, and so I just got him this figure this past weekend, right. gave it to him, uh, and so we thought we would do the review of it since he just got it. Right. So Jack, this one's for you, buddy. All right, so as you saw by the opening, it is the Batman Blast Shield, Batman Dark Knight Collection Blast Shield, or 
as he's known in the Batman Returns line, Bola Strike Batman. Two different names, exact same figure, exact same accessories. Except two different pictures again. Two different pictures again. Um, in the Dark Knight collection, he's known as Blast Shield Batman. And he comes with a double barrel, barrel Bola missile that really fires. He's got a bulletproof iridium suit, as it's known on the front. Um, <clears throat> Crime Master Body gives Batman a metallic shield for extra dangerous missions. Is that the instructions? Uh, no, they actually have instructions this time around. Oh. It tells about how they work the blast shield. You've got this picture on the back where he's going after Knockout Joker. Um, great shot of the figure. Deluxe Crime Master Edition. So there's all that. I'm just kind of figuring that since that's what they did with Bruce Wayne. It, they did. Yeah. They just switched out the penguin for the Joker again. Other than that, it's exactly the same, it looks like. I mean, like the thing where they said that was the instruction. Oh, I know, yeah. I know what you mean, yeah. Uh, so there's that one. And then for Batman Returns, as a Toys R Us limited edition, this figure was released as Bolo Strike Batman. I the three... Like... Sorry, go ahead. I like the name Bolo Strike Batman. Bolo Strike is cool. It makes more sense because he's got a Bola thing. Um, the Blast Shield makes sense too, though, because he comes with the Blast Shield. It's yeah. kind of cool that the two features of the giant accessory he comes with are... It's like, okay, we're focusing mm -hmm. on the shield with that one. We're focusing on the shooting thing with this one. Right. All three of the Toys R Us limited edition Batman Returns figures are repackaged versions of the three Crime Master Deluxe Editions from Dark Knight Returns, yeah. okay. with the exception of, I think, I can't remember which one it is, I think one was called One Thing and then became Polar Blast and the other one. But both Blast Shield and, and one of the other ones, Night Cl Light Glider or something like that, I can't remember. But two of them are exactly the same, and that's one of the two that's exactly the same. So there's all that. Um, let's talk about the, the accessory first. Um, he comes with, hey buddy, you playing with that styrofoam? You're still playing with the styrofoam. <laughs> Can you wait on the styrofoam until we're all done? Thank you, buddy. Uh, okay, so he comes with this big accessory that's in parts when you get it, and you have to put it kind of together. It's got this clear, almost, it's not really a bat symbol. It looks more like a bat cape. It's kind of like a bat symbol. But it looks more like a cape. And so all this clips on. It's got this clip that sits on Batman. I'm going to take his cape off to make this easier. This clip goes over Batman. Oh, boy, it's tough to get it on there, though. Wow! All right, so I'm gonna put the clip on first. That's a good idea. Yeah. Uh, get on there. Okay, so this clip goes on over Batman, and this piece kind of clips on there, and Batman is able to have it just kind of hanging off the front of him, and it shields him with this clear sort of sunglasses type thing, while he can fire off these bolas. There's a little button here that you press it, and both the bullet pieces okay. shoot off at the same time. It's got a string in between, so it hits something in the middle. We talked about this on the bullet. Does it actually bullet. work like when it hits something, it wraps around? I think it, it kind of does. It works as well as you can, can for a figure. I can't aim like that. Okay. I'll try. I'll just do this with my forefinger. All right, let me try it. What? See, it kind of worked. Kind of. It kind of worked. It, and I shot a little lower. It probably would have wrapped around. So all that's pretty cool. It's got a, a big thing that moves up and down, and then you pull that all off, and then we're, let's, let's talk about the Batman. Because that's what's really cool about this set. This is the reason I gave Jack this one. He wanted like a good standard Batman. Crime Attack is kind of expensive, and I don't know how easy it's going to be for me to find one of those, but I had an extra one of these, and I started looking, and I'm like, that's kind of just a cool regular Batman. You had talked about before how you wanted like a gray and black Batman. Mm, that works out as both. This is pretty close, because the mm -hmm. gloves, the boots... The underwear piece and the mask and the cowl are all black, while the body, it's like the suit, is sort of metallic pewter, or all, it's almost black, but it's sort of a dark smoky gray, or like a gunmetal. So it's almost like a gray and black Batman, right. but it's close to being just a solid black Batman. It's just a really cool, almost sort of right. like 90s, late 90s comic style Batman. I've been um, using my, um, I mean, the late R laser Batman for my classic gray. Well, actually, I've been using the animated series one now that I have yeah. it, but before that, I was using my R laser Batman. The laser Batman? Batman? Yeah. Yeah, because that one's sort of silver and gray and, and black. But this one would make a good one, too, of just that gray and black. I like how they did the belt. It's solid black, except for the buckle is gold, um, which is uh -huh. a pretty cool look. Um, overall, this is just a, a really cool, just kind of regular Batman. Um, a good stand-in for a black and gray style Batman. Uh -huh. um, but also a cool, just if you didn't have Crime Attack or something like this, this guy kind of could work mm -hmm. as just a movie style Batman. Can I see? Yeah. That would work. Yeah, it's really cool. 
so overall, really cool figure, and usually you can get these, like, Crime Master and to uh, the Batman Returns Deluxe ones, pretty cheap. I mean, they go for, like, like 10 bucks or so. Um, so this is a cool Batman to pick up if you just want a cool Batman. And maybe right. you're... Maybe you've got the, the Crime Attack and all those things first, and you've got Iron Witch, and you want to go with another sort of more normal Batman, this is a cool one to pick up. And go with the Batman Returns version, because it's cheaper if you're going to open it. The Dark Knight one's a little bit tougher to find. Uh, yeah, so if you want to see close-up pictures of this guy, hit the info section in the video, and it'll give you a link to where you can check him out. Um, other than that, I guess we'll sign off on this one, right? Yep. Hope you enjoy it, Jack, and uh, we'll you see wish? you guys... What? And viewers. And viewers. Well, Jack's got the figure. Right. So I hope you're right. enjoying the figure, Jack. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, okay, so we'll sign off on this one, and we'll see you guys next time.